Good morning. This is the continuation of our series of videos related to flanging and types of tubings and fittings used on auto analyzers. What we mostly see in, in the systems these days, it seems, is what's called EVA, which stands for ethylene vinyl acetate. This is a type of tubing that requires surfactant and also requires uh, a nut and ferrule fitting, which we don't uh, really recommend in general, although it's very common uh, because it, it just puts more uh, it just puts more maintenance into the system. Uh, the The Teflon tubing is the tubing that will be flanged. It's actually quite difficult to tell this tubing apart from each other initially if you don't have a lot of experience with it. You have different ID and different color. The but you just really need to keep them in their packages. And then the other type of tubing you'll see is what's called PE or polyethylene. And once again, this does require a nut. Or it can also use a connection where you put it onto a lure fitting. This is often what you see going from the sampler probe to the actual cartridge. And so it'll look like a connection like this where you have a, an adapter onto it. This is a common connection between the sampler and the valve or the cartridge. But you also can use Teflon. On our systems, we prefer Teflon, only Teflon. You have all IDs available with Teflon. You can have as little as a 0.015 all the way up to 0.06. You can flange it all. You use the same nut and O-ring, a, a chemical resistant Viton O-ring for the entire series. You use the same nuts for everything. If you buy a package of nuts, you're going to be able to use it for any type of Teflon tubing. When you do put Teflon on everything, then you have a consistent flow pattern. And uh, even though the nuts might look dirty, they're still workable. They just uh, can be utilized to come right out, come right back in. All Teflon, all the connections can be the exact length you want. Using a flanging device, you're able to make all your tubing with one series of, all your connections with one series of tubings. Next, we're going to address actually how to flange, so look for that video. Thank you very much.